action. <laughs> hey everyone, uh, today is actually a pretty exciting day. We are going to be doing something that if you've uh, followed along this far in our little journey, we've actually discussed doing a couple of times. We are going to take out the dinette. And why are we going to take out this dinette, you're asking? I bet you're also asking why it's just me today. Um, because apparently I have to have someone hold the camera for me. So it is going to be just me. There's going to be no title belts. There's going to be no Bob the Woe because I'm not allowed to do that anymore because I've been told that she doesn't like that. But we are going to play Bob the Builder. Bob the Repairman, Bob... The Demo Man. The Demo Man. Carrie is with me today. She's hiding behind the camera. So folks, please do not worry. You are not stuck with me the whole time. Just from Rec Pro, the fine folks over at Rec Pro who... Uh, have been awesome to communicate with so far. We are not paid by them, we're not endorsed by them, we are not benefiting in any other way than just a regular customer. But we have purchased a 70 inch dual reclining love seat with a nice console uh, or cup holders and stuff like that. Um, it is the non-powered unit. I think roughly was uh, a little over a thousand dollars uh, after a coupon code, which you can get in the item description or video description rather uh, We were able to get it down to it was like nine and change uh, Which is going to be delivered tomorrow according to FedEx I don't have a lot of faith in FedEx from experience that they'll be on the day they say it will be But we're keeping it positive. So in preparations for uh, our FedEx delivery tomorrow uh, We're gonna take this dinette out so basically um, it, it looks overall it looks pretty simple. First things you have to do is take your cup holders off or cup uh, coasters off. Don't worry, I'll edit that out. No, you won't. won't. <laughs> uh, we're going to get to take our Disney pillows down. Uh, one of the cool things about this little project here is that uh, as like everybody else in the country, uh, we are under uh, stay at home orders. So we will not be taking our anniversary road trip uh in in the next couple of weeks like we had planned so it has given us some time to do some modifications to our rig uh one of them is putting in some inverters in, in a bigger television system um which we'll get into in another video so actually having the time has been fairly decent so we're going to learn together on how this is done because i have not done anything as far as this goes uh, so bear with me um, hmm. <laughs> so, I think, there we go. So, the dinette is one of those that just slides up. It's under two metal poles, um, which slide out easily. Um, we'll put those right there for a moment. And we're going to take the other one out. And uh, that completes part one of how to remove the dinette. Um, so I'm just going to hang out with me. I'm going to speed up a good portion of this because I don't think you want to see all of it. Um, and every little screw that comes out. And plus I'm going to be in and out of the door. So let's get this party started, kids. You know, I'm thinking, not only am I thinking it's nice outside, but I'm thinking we are probably one of the only people that we know. I'm quite sure there's more of you guys out there that will buy a brand new camp, brand new, and tear it completely apart and redo it the way we want it. Because um, why wouldn't we? I'll be right back, people. Bet you missed me. All right, so what we're going to start doing now that we got that out of the way, we're going to take out the cushions. So I will say that I love the Winnebago. And everything that we bought just kind of knowing what we we're going to do ahead of time but there's some things that just don't make sense um, and some things that you, you have such a really nice thing and then you have these really uncomfortable seats so i've already checked this out before so i know that there's no major water uh holding tanks or anything on this side because it's just a slide uh there's one electrical cable that runs from below to up here which I believe is for the overhead light, which rerouting that's not going to be a problem. But I'm going to pull up these uh, plywood bottoms. 
I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to look at basically what we've got here. Uh, start doing, I got to put on the spectacles because I'm a little old. Uh, we started play, poking around a little bit before. It looks like this is going to be a couple of different pieces. Uh, as you can see down here, this normally is just sitting over. It's a little box, a little prote protective box for the uh, wire. <laughs> you guys just made, almost had a very close encounter with this guy. Uh, so we can just take that right out of the way. And looking down, if you can, uh, I don't know if you can get in here, Kara, but there's a few screws going around the corners. And it looks like it's going to come out a couple of pieces. So nothing overly uh, stressful here. A couple of screws up on top. Uh, so yeah, just kind of hang tight. And uh, well, again, we'll speed this up. For the most part, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six screws on the bottom. Some are the surround and a couple on the back. So I'm going to break out the handy dandy uh, brand new drill. And we're going to use that as a power screwdriver. These do all appear to be Phillips, which is very surprising for me. Uh, because normally they're those square, square tips. Uh, so yeah. Did I mention that I'm old? These are actually square tips. Can you give me that screwdriver? And we'll, I just need to tip them off of that. So this is not a Phillips, but I'm old again and it looked like it was. So we'll switch to the right bit. Okay, so now we have a uh, majority of these pieces down here out. Uh, see if I'm getting hung up on anything. I'm going to take these couple out here. Uh, if you have a gallery right now, I kind of like finding funny things in life. And I always have the weirdest things happen to me. Uh, Are you really so, going for the toes? No, I'm actually not going to talk about the broken toes, <laughs> which if anybody's been following us on uh, Instagram, uh, you got to see some lovely pictures of my toes. Uh, it's I have broken toes on both feet from being home quarantined uh, or home, stay at home orders. I can't go to work. You were acting working out. from home. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, um, I wear an Apple watch, which is kind of funny to me as I'm doing this and I'm worried about the electrical wires that are down here. I start getting jolted. It's our daughter going through the back door. We hit the ring app and the doorbell's buzzing on my watch. It scares the bejeebers out of me. So that's why I have all this white and gray in my beard is because of our children. All right. So at that point, as you can see, everything's pretty much loosened up. I just going to disconnect those wires. Uh, so for that, hang tight. I'll be right back. I know, you missed me. I have such a mess in there. So I'm just going to pull out a couple of these. I'm just going to cap these wires. 
Um, I'm not going to shut the power down at this point because they're all pretty much just low voltage for me. Um, plus, I've been doing this long enough that I know what's the worst that can happen, right? So, as I found out, mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the uh, wire for the uh, the overhead light. We're just going to put some caps on these temporarily. I'm not going to wire these back up at the moment just because I don't want to have any issues with the uh, I want to make sure they're all disconnected for for when I put the uh, love seat in so and basically that's it um, this comes out pretty quick painless um, not quite sure how I'm gonna get out to the door probably on the side um, and from there a very lightweight open frame construction or whatever you call that I call it open frame I'm quite sure someone can correct me on what it's called but um yeah so as far as what we're noticing here uh, there's not a whole lot of uh holes or anything to be concerned with uh, i was really concerned that we we're going to have holes uh, and there's really only one there the only thing that's kind of a bummer is this trim piece it doesn't go all the way down uh, my wife knows i have an obsession with trim trimming things i don't like things to be open so that might be something I got to look into, maybe ordering another piece or fabricating something myself in my shop. Um, other than that, it looks like it's going to be a pretty clean, easy progress. We'll take these uh, holders out here and uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to see if I can get this out on my own. If not, I have a son who doesn't want to be on camera, but he's strong like Bull. Um, he gets it from his old man. back so we're going to tip this now the whole reason I don't normally I would just take this all apart and take it out in pieces but I kind of want to keep this intact just in case somebody else can use it and I want to just throw things out I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, just a couple of wires here. And then for this side, it's gonna be basically, how's that go? Second verse, same as the first. And we'll take these out. Keep that in nice and neat. Pop this open. We're gonna replace those blinds anyway. Um, so this here, I'll let Carrie give you a shot of that. There's no wiring in this one. And for this one here, I'm just going to... Uh, here's what I'll do. I'm going to take these out. Just because this one here, I don't think I need to show that. It comes right out again. And these little holders down here. They're just hold out, held down by six of those square pin, square head screws. And that's that. And as far as any of this goes, we're not going to see this because it'll be underneath the uh, underneath the love seat anyway. basically again taking the same one out it's gonna be the same as the other side 
And I do want to give a shout out to whoever put a flashlight on top of a drill or ever had this uh, idea because this is my first one that does have it. I'm an old DeWalt guy and the uh, cordless dryer that I have I probably had for about 12 years. And back in those days we didn't have lights on our drills. I don't think I had to take those out. And again, that's that. Oh. As you see, we're back up here on the dance floor. She's hiding behind the camera, she can't stop me. So basically, how old am I getting the amount of breath from that? Um, <laughs> so basically, this is where we're at. Uh, we'll clean this up. Actually, Carrie will probably clean it up because I never clean up. I just make messes, tear things apart, put them back together. Uh, we'll fix this out and uh, next time you see us is either going to be tomorrow after FedEx delivers on time for the first time ever or you're going to see us in a couple of days which is usually the MO for FedEx. Um, until then, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey friends, Bob from 25 Plus Life here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This way here we know you care. Thank you.